Hi and welcome back to Sadie's Spincraft. I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers and say thank you so much for subscribing. Also welcome back all my regulars and thank you so much for your continued support. It's not going to be long now before we hit a thousand and we can do those live spins and blending boards and drum carding sessions, even live die sessions. I'm so looking forward to it. So today I'm going to bring you along for a spin of the Rolex that we did yesterday on the blending board. I have quite a few of them. <laughs> so yeah, I thought I'd bring you along for a few. Not all of them, obviously, because it takes a while. I have already started, so I'm going to turn you so you can watch what's going on. So away we go. I want you to be able to watch the colours change. So we'll finish this raw lag that I've already drafted and then I'll show you what I do with the raw lag. I'm not looking for super fine this time. I'm actually just letting it I'm doing a short forward draw with it or a short backward draw depending on how I feel at the time. I don't want it too thick but I don't want it too fine and I'm quite happy with it being slightly thick and thin. I am going to chain ply this one. At the end I will show you the spins I did the other day. Well, I finished them today, I chain plied them today. They do need a good wash as they're slightly overspun but you usually get that with chain plying or I do anyway I'm not sure if everybody does So it hurt to my knees with where I was sat then, so I just had to adjust myself. Just a bit of vegetable matter there. So this is what I'm spinning. If you haven't watched the blending board, to, well it's not a tutorial, it's just how I've learned to do Rolex on the blending board. And this is Polworth that I dyed a few weeks ago. The video is up and it should be in my hand dyed playlist. And then, like I say, yesterday I did the Rolex. So it's Polworth and Bamboo. And I've added the colour of the bamboo is the same colours as what's in what I dyed the merino, not merino, Polworth, sorry. And the uh, 
I'll bring you around for a different angle in a minute. The yarns that I'm showing you later, well, I might as well tell you about them later. So I've got to the end of that row lag, so I'm just going to change direction. So this is how it starts and what I do to use my row lags, as I'm not very good at long draw yet, is I pre-draft them. So I just... Go down one side and then back through again, just where the thick spots are that I've missed. You can see the colour change in it with the bamboo. And then to then attach, let me just get going. I'm going to have this bit, but then I'm going to sort of like lay it across and then just draft them both together. And you should get a nice seamless, you can't tell, but you've got a nice seamless. Um, join there. Let's just move that across. And then hopefully you'll see the yellow going onto the bobbin. And like I say, I'm just doing a short forward draw, unless obviously it just needs drafting ever so slightly more. But I'm not looking for the perfect spin on this one, like I was the others. So you see that slubby bit? I might just go along and just squish it a bit, and then it's near enough the same. So we'll go from yellow into brown, into blue, and then into green. And I'll keep that pattern up all the way through. <coughs> and then when it's finished, I shall chain ply it. I've chain plied two today. Well, one last night, but finished it this morning. And then another one today. And I'm quite proud of myself because I haven't chain plied for over a year. And I did all right. Lancelot worked a dream for me. So yeah, I'm rather pleased with the little fellow. Told you I'd tame him. And it does as he's told quite well. And you'll notice down here, I have this is what I use for sort of like oiling and keeping him well because <laughs> he started to squeak so I just kind of sprayed everywhere that there was metal so there down in between that bit where the bobbin goes on the bit at the back where the bobbin goes on 
and the foot pedals and the joints. I do need to wax him really because then it keeps the wood nice and <coughs> well just nice and well looked after. I would like to get an artist to paint him because that is one thing well I am but I don't want to ruin it so I'd rather get someone else to do it see if we can just get you to see a bit more of what I'm doing because I don't like to be too close to my orifice but yeah I'm just doing a short forward draw Now we're going into the brown. I mean, you will see blues and greens going through as well, but by the brown, I mean the um, bamboo that I've added, because I added it in stripes. So yeah, in a way I want this one to be slightly thick and thin, but not too thick, too thin or too thick, if that makes any sense. If you'd like me to do a video on how I chain ply, I mean there's lots of videos out there that show you how to do it. If you'd like to see how I chain ply, please comment below. <coughs> and that'll probably be Thursday's video. Although I think I've near enough done one every day or every two days recently but I've not been as busy with scarves these this past week because they got sent out last Tuesday to the new owner which means I've got a bit of time for spinning and prepping and I'm waiting for spring so I can do all my uh, washing of fleeces and dyeing and picking and carding and so on and so forth something that I'm really looking forward to because I have some Polworth Romany to wash I've even got some uh, Polworth Merino to rewash because obviously well you don't know this but I didn't wash it properly I just did a quick wash to get all the, to get the majority of the lanolin out um, so that it didn't stain it yellow but since it's been left for a while it's rather sticky and I don't really want to put it through my drum carder while it's all sticky so that needs a, a rewash um, 
but it doesn't need its cold wash this time. She needs a nice hot wash to get the rest of the lanolin out. <laughs> We're into the blue now, if you haven't already noticed. <laughs> so I'll get to the end of this rollag and then I'll let you all go and play with whatever it is you're playing with, whether it be hooks, needles, spinning wheel, drop spindle, fibre, drum carding, combs. I need to get my table sorted so I can get my combs up and running again because when I've washed the Polworth Merino and the Polworth Romany, I am going to need my combs to comb those out. Although once I've combed them out, I will be putting it through the drum carder as not the Romney Polworth, but the Merino Polworth as it's part of the fleece to jumper spin series. So I thought I'd nearly got to the end of it, but I found another box. <laughs> They are such big fleeces with so much um, fiber on, so much wool on it. It's unbelievable. And I am definitely gonna get another two this year. Just because I am in love with what comes off them, them sheep. I am definitely a Polworth girl and rambule that's a nice one to spin as well reason I like Polworth is because it looks quite fine now but when I wash it it is going to spring up and be so fluffy and bouncy when it's done oh my word the softness of it is amazing I will say I've got princess hands. I'm not one for rough fleeces like Icelandic and things like that. Even Cheviot or Cheviot, however you want to pronounce it, can be quite rough. Well, if not rough, but coarse. Even though it's nice to spin because it spins well. I can say I've got princess hands, it's not soft enough. <laughs> I'm very... Some people would... I can't even say it online. On camera. But I'm a yarn, W-H-O-R-E, if you can spell. Which is why I say I've got princess hands. <laughs> right, we're into the green now. Which is the last colour.
I am allowing the twist into the raw lag but that's just the way I'm enjoying doing it Have a little bit of vegetable matter So we're at the end of that one now. So just wrap that onto the end of there. So the other day I was blending the fibre, the BFL from the jar dye, which is what I call, it's when I dye fibres in a jar. And I was going to apply them with a the naturals. But by the time I'd finished the green and browns with the blues, I thought the naturals would end up dampening down the actual brightness of the greens and blues. And I didn't want that. So in the end, I chain plied the naturals. These haven't been washed yet, so they're still a little bit curly whirly, but they will get washed. So that's the naturals. And let's just see if I can get one of the, and it's, I'd say about a lace weight or a fingering weight. And it doesn't matter which one I choose, they're all about the same. So I have managed to get my consistency near, near enough perfect bar from that one little bit there, which is just ever so slightly thicker than that one. But the rest is nigh on perfect. I am so happy with it. And then the green, it had to be chain plied. And that is the same. I have done so well with the consistency and it is either a lace weight or a chain, um, a chain ply or a fingering weight or a sock weight. I'm not quite sure, but once they've been washed, they may puff up a little bit, so they may not stay this weight. But we'll see. So yeah, I'm quite happy with those and I am glad I did them separate. You can see the bamboo running through this. And I did do this, um, I blended it on the drum carder. Hunter helped me. <laughs> Adding... What we Fire Star, which is super bright nylon, which I hand dyed, and some bamboo with and some Angelina, which is sparkle. Can't really see the shine and sparkle on the camera. Oh, you can get a bit there. Look, there's little bits in there. You can see the. Uh, did you see that? <laughs> So yeah, it is in there. <coughs> so yeah, I'm quite proud of them. And I shall get these spun up. If, like I say, you would like to see how I chain ply, please comment below and just let me know. Thank you all so much for watching. I still can't believe I'm at 730 subscribers. I'm over the moon. Just another 270 to go and we can go live. So thank you all. And thank you, Nikki, for my plaque. You can't quite see it, but it is there. It's in my front room looking all special. <laughs> so yeah, whether it's morning, afternoon, evening or night time, I want you all to do what you love doing. Whether it be knitting, crochet, spinning, dyeing, whatever. Even if it's just watching YouTube, do enjoy it, do it, love it. So yeah, I love you all so much. Stay safe. Bye.